Uh, my name is Susie Buster. Uh, we're on the balcony of our home in Reno, Nevada, hanging out over the what we call Horseman's Canyon. I guess other people call it Manzanita Canyon. But, um, and right behind you, I see a, a burn scar that was uh, traveling up towards those homes. Right. As the fire jumped over McCarran, it came down the canyon. And uh, we had done some defensible space, which obviously is pretty evident there, where you can see the burn area uh, on the homes, uh, or I mean on the grass down below, and then the homes up above where we had done the defensible space. You can see that uh, it works. And what did you do back here? Well, we uh, originally started out thinning out uh, the sagebrush. Uh, one of the members of the F Nevada Fire Council is a friend of ours, and he came and looked over and recommended how uh, much we should trim back the sagebrush and, and uh, also recommended that we treat it with a plateau. And so uh, when the Homeowners Association got involved, then they did some further uh, thinning out of the sagebrush and uh, treated this, uh, the soil with some sort of thing. I think they used plateau, but I'm really not sure what they used. But the line of what was treated and what wasn't treated is pretty obvious, where it's black from being burned and then it's just fine. One thing that's really uh, uh, positive as far as I'm concerned is the fact that the soil didn't burn as possibly it did below. I don't know if it was hot enough to truly burn it or not, but I think once our soil is reseeded with uh, some native grasses and whatnot, we should be fine. What was the ember activity like they were during just the fire? Flying around everywhere, and especially when these large cottonwood trees down here caught on fire, it was like a tornado of embers that was oh, I would say maybe a hundred feet wide that would swirl around and then the, as the wind would blow it, sometimes it would come over the house, other times it would go over toward Manzanita and start some of the vegetation over there on fire, other times it was heading back down, it was just all over the place. And there were bits and pieces in the over, uh, by the neighbors that live over closer to Skyline, they, some of them were uh, finding embers in their courtyards that had come from these trees down here. And can you describe, uh, you evacuated during the fire, can you describe your experience and, and uh, what you took and things maybe you, sh you wished you'd taken? Or? Uh, uh, we didn't really evacuate. We were fortunate enough that the uh, um, Incline Fire Department came through here and we were the first home that they encountered on the street where someone was here. And the uh, fireman asked if he could come back and look. And as we were running in the house, I told him that we had done the defensible space and then my husband was out here with his trusty hose, squirting what he could reach with the hose. And the fireman was able to see up the canyon from our house. And he said he thought we would be fine. And he went next door and uh, to get a view down the canyon from that house and said he thought we would be fine. There was only three of us that stayed throughout the fire. But uh, when, as far as taking things, you take crazy stuff. Um, I grabbed pictures, which I, I think I, I was fortunate enough to even have time to do that, and, and all the legal documents and things that you should take, but I didn't take my passport um, or my marriage certificates, uh, but just, you know, things that probably it would have been, and I intend to do it, and I'm going to force myself to do it, to uh, get a file, an uh, expandable file, and put everything all in one central location instead of running around like a chicken with my head off throwing things in the car. And uh, you were talking about hose bibs out here. What improvements did you make to your house that, that helped you defend it in the case of the fire? Well, well we, were, we were fortunate enough to uh, purchase the property from the contractor when it was just dirt. And uh, my daughter, who is a forester, uh, thought it might be a wise thing to put a, a hose bib back here since we were at the top of a canyon that was loaded with cheap grass and sagebrush. And so we were the, really the only house along here that has a hose bib actually in the back. So one of the other neighbors hooked up a hose, I think from his laundry room and ran it out and was doing some squirting further down. Uh, but we fortunately did have the hose bib here. 
And did you work with your other neighbors here on, on their defensible space? And did yes, you have any did. challenges with that? No, no, we didn't. It's really, uh, we're very fortunate that our whole uh, homeowners association backed the membership in the fire council uh, to form a chapter. And uh, they were very positive in their help uh, as far as the uh, thinning out and the treatment of the soils. And it's my understanding that they're going to uh, help us out with uh, receding and, and doing some uh, soil stabilization now that we've had the fire. Okay. Um, and so any, any other future plans with the fire safe chapter or any future plans working with your neighbors? And well, I think we're all pretty much in this together now. <laughs> we're bound by a tragedy.